Hello, good evening. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Christina. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hey, how are you today? Fine, teacher. And you, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking me. And Jennifer, how are you? Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Osmin Rivera. Welcome to the class. Hello, Yamilet. Good evening. Okay, I have here a message. Okay, I'm going to be working. Okay. Okay, that's great. Hello, Kherson Adonai. Welcome to the class. How was your day today, guys? How was your day? Was it easy? Was it uh, busy? Was it bad? How was your day? How was your day today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's great. You're fine. So, can you listen to me without any problem? ¿Me pueden escuchar sin ningún problema? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, guys, can you listen to me without any problem? ¿Me pueden escuchar sin problemas? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. okay, thank you so much. So, welcome to this um, second class of this English course. Thank you very much for your punctuality, guys. So, let's start with tonight's class. But before we start the class, let me know, please, if you have a question about the platform. Do you have any question about the platform exercises? Any problem there? Do you have any questions, any problems? Acerca de la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Jennifer. I, I write yesterday about the, some exercise. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you, you would send me some uh, answers about that. But the, the number four, I put um, the answer that you send me, but it's bad. I don't know if the program is bad okay. or something like that. Okay, thank you for your comments. Uh, we are going to check um, in a minute what's the matter with that exercise. Janet, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, <clears throat> is to refer uh, to exercise the, the Yeah, uh, of frequency in the exercise I put the answers there is 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 wrong the answers. And um okay I don't know. Okay, don't worry. We are going to check in this moment what happened with this exercises. So we are going to see what are the right answer here. I'm going to share with you the my screen and let's go with this. Okay, brain intermediate model two. Let's go with this. Okay, this is how often do you do, do you exercise? That is the question. And uh, are these the exercises in the ones you have problems? No, they aren't, right? Let's see, let's check it.
Okay. These are the exercises in which you have problems, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's see the first one at volleyball. I guess uh pretty good. I often play on weekend. Okay, here are some mistakes, right? There are some misspelling in these sentences. Let's see here. I'm pretty good. I often play on. This is a space here. So about the answers, how good are you? Do you have the answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. I am reading some messages of your classmates. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you to inform me. So how good are you? Let's do the second one, it's Spain online. That is about an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friend. Do you have this answer? How long do you? Yes. And the next, a play card once or twice a month. A series, how often? How often do you play cards once or twice a month? It's a good way to relax. Very good. And the last one, you say, how well do you? Do you have this answer? Yes. How well do you? And let's see if it is correct. Um, ah, okay. Let's try another another one. Oh, what's the matter here? How well do you? Let's see. How good are you at typing? How good do you type? Well, not very well, actually. I need to take a typing class. Okay, let's see this other one. No, it isn't. Okay, we are going to check this answer. Just give me a second. And I'm going to say sure. what is the answer. Yes? A question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, yesterday, I started the, this exercise, uh, but I don't understand, teacher. Why is your answer in the exercise? Okay, today we're going to study this question, right? In today's class, we're going to study these type of questions. Uh, they are asking you, they are questions with how. Son preguntas con how, right? How good are you is the first one. ¿Qué tan bueno eres en algún deporte o en alguna actividad? Then we have how long do you? Eso es tiempo, un periodo de tiempo. How long do you spend online? It means why agree are you do you excuse me can you please repeat your question uh, why agree are you do you and the and the question don't explain uh, are you only how good how long how often uh, don't explain uh, are you do you uh, agree so the answer. Um, okay, that is the class for tonight. We're going to study that tonight. So don't worry, after the class, we can solve this, right? In case you have a doubt. Can I repeat the answers in the exercise? Uh, yes, please. Okay. So do you want me to read the answer ah, o sea, la pregunta es que eh, en el ejercicio solo explica únicamente que podemos ocupar este how long perdón este how good how long how often pero no explica que le tendríamos que agregar el are you do you Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to explain you that in the class, right? Don't worry. Ahorita les explico esto. Yes? Okay. Okay, now I have the right answer here. And yes, right? Eh, esta tampoco está explicada en el video. Por eso les ha costado bastante. 
So let me show sí. you here what is the answer. ¿Y se puede volver a repetir o ya queda archivado en esa forma? Con la no, ok. No, 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 no hay ningún problema. Usted puede realizar los ejercicios a cuantas veces usted necesite hacerlos. Y la puntuación no se va a ver afectada. No le baja punto. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, now let me show you what is the answer. You are going to be surprised with this answer. That is this. How well can you? How well can you type? Look at this. That is the answer. How well can you type? That is a new one, right? It wasn't in the video. That's why it has been a little bit difficult to you. But this is the answer. So can you try it and tell me if it is work to you? How well can you? That is the answer. How well can you type? No, very well, actually. I need to take typing class. And by the way, how well are how well can you type? In your case, how well can you type? How many words per minute can you type? ¿Cómo les va en la digitada? Are you fast? Hello, guys. Are you there? So, if you don't have any other questions. Ok, thank you. Eh, ¿Funcionó? ¿Ya probaron si funcionó esta respuesta en su plataforma? Yes. Ok, ok, that's, that's great. Thank you for your question. Any other doubts about the platform exercises? Any other question here? No more question. Okay, that's great. Then let's start with the next class, guys. So welcome. Um, uh, I'm so sorry, teacher. I tried with that answer and my platform. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's working now. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So let's go with the next class. Question with how and your answer. Tonight we're going to study this topic, right? So here we go, question with how is your answer? Welcome to the class number two, guys. Let's go with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask an answer question using how. The ones that we studied before in the exercises. So let's start. Uh, but before to go with how question, last class review, do you ever play volleyball? What is a good answer for this question? Do you ever play volleyball? Then we need frequency adverbs to answer this question. Do you ever play volleyball? No, I never play volleyball. Excellent sentence. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. No, I never play volleyball. That is a great sentence. Thank you. Let's see the second question here. Do you ever play chess? What is chess, teacher? Oh, the meaning of chess is, um, let's see, it's a board game in which you have queen, king, a horse. What is that? Any idea? Ajedrez? Yes, ajedrez. That is the meaning of chess. Do you ever play chess? I never played chess. I never. Thank you. I never played chess. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, husband. Very good answer. Do you usually work on weekends? I never work in weekends. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you so much. You say, I never work on weekends. On weekends. I work sometimes. Okay. Then I work on weekends sometimes. Thank you so much. Let's see, do you always watch the news? Do you always watch the news? No, I never watch the, the news. Thank you so much, Ingrid. I never watch the I, news. I, I watch, I watch uh, the news every day. Okay, perfect sentence you. I watch the news every day. Then we have, how often do you watch your car? How often do you wash your car? I, I wash my car one time. Always wash my car. Um, 
mouth. Okay. okay, let's listen Jennifer first. Can you please start your sentence again? I watch my car one, one, one time a mole. Okay, thank you. We use one. We say one. One time is one. Una vez. One. Once, a once a month. Excellent. Thank you. I wash my car once a month. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Then can you please repeat your sentence? The other guy who was speaking. I often wash my car. Thank you so much. Thank you. I often wash my car. Let's go with the next one. How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you eat pupusas? I eat pupusas every Saturday. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir. Perfect sentence. I eat pupusas every Saturday. Thank you. Any other answer? I eat pupusas once a week. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you so much. Anybody? Any other question? Any other answer? Sorry. Uh, I sometimes eat pupusas because uh, it don't, uh, how do you say no some it preferias? Okay, I don't like pupusas so much. Okay. Oh, I, I prefer to eat another thing. Or they are not my favorite food. And any other answer? Let's go with the next question. How often do you buy shoes? Any answer? I buy shoes once a month. Excellent answer. Thank you. I buy shoes once a month. Perfect answer. Thank you. Any other answer? How often do you buy shoes? No more answer, then I have the last one. How often do you speak in English? Every day in my work, I practice with my co-workers. That is pretty cool. Thank you for your answer. Any other answer? How often do you speak in English? I speak English every day. Thank you, Vanessa. That's a perfect answer. Thank you. So let's start with this. My right? question with how and your answer. So look at this. How often is the first one? How often do you work out? Con que frecuencia hace ejercicio? How often do you work out? Then I have this option to answer how often question. Every day, twice a week, not very often. Those are a short answer for this question, right? Every day, twice a week. No, very often. Then I have how long do you spend at the gym? How long do you spend at the gym? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasas en el gimnasio? Then 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekend. So how long do you spend um, checking your cell phone, for example? How long do you spend uh, watching TV? How long do you spend driving? How long do you spend, um, let's see, um, in, a, in the supermarket? How well do you play tennis with them? The other question with how, how well, how well do you play tennis? And we have these three options to answer pretty well. About average, not very well. And then I have how good are you at the sport? How good are you at the sports? Very good. Okay. Not so good. And the one that was in the exercise. How well can you? That is another one. How well? How well can you swim, for example? How well can you swim? Then you can answer pretty well, above average, or not very well. How well can you sing, for example? How well can you sing? How well can you sing? Jamilet? 
Yes, teacher. What's the meaning uh, about average? Okay, about average. Nice. So we can use this question with how, right? In this short answer. Now let's see. Uh, this one, how often nos pregunta por frecuencia, donde que tan frecuentemente hacemos algo. How long, cuánto tiempo eh, pasamos haciendo una actividad. How long do you spend? And how well, que tan buenos somos haciendo una actividad. How well do you play tennis? And la última, how good are you? Que tan bien, ¿verdad? Hacemos algo. How good are you at sports? Y how well can you swim? Sería otra opción, ¿verdad? Que también nada. Que también puedes cantar. Then take these answers, right? Keep in mind this answer. We are going to use them in the following exercises, right? So don't forget about them. How often we answer every day, twice a week? No, very often. For how well, pretty well, about average, and not very well. For how long, we answer with time, 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekend. And the last one, how good, say pretty good. Okay, not so good. So let's go with the next thing here. Do you have any questions in this part, guys? Question, this is the moment. No teacher. No question. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Yeah. Uh, what the meaning about average? About average, it means... Average, okay. Okay, pretty well, muy bien. No very well, no muy bien. So about average is como intermedio, ¿verdad? Es como más o menos, right? How well do you play tennis? About average. Bueno, poquito, right? That is the meaning about average. Teacher. Yes. Uh, and how good are you at sports? ¿Cómo podríamos interpretar la respuesta? Ok. Uh, bueno. Pretty good is muy bueno. Okay, sería bueno. And not so good, no muy bueno. Okay. Any other question in this part, guys? Okay, if you don't have any other question, let's go with this conversation. We are going to listen this and a real fitness free. So let's listen this conversation and then we're going to discuss the vocabulary in it. So let's listen, please. I'm a real... F Let me know, please, if you can listen the conversation. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, let's start with the sentence. You are in great shape. What is the meaning of these? You are in great shape, okay? What's the meaning of that sentence? You are in great shape. Yes, right. These things, I guess I'm real fitness free. What is the meaning of that fitness free? Sometimes like crazy, uh, like uh, fitness crazy or something like that. Okay, yes, right. It's a person who really likes to do exercise to look fit, right? 
that is fitness break. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometimes? Mm, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem, I give you a few tips. Now, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this part? Questions? Nobody has a question, new vocabulary, new words. Let's see, for example, what is the meaning of twice a week? Teacher. Uh, Tell me, uh, Evelyn. A few, few tips. Oh, a few tips. Um, I'll give you a few tips. Voy a darte algunos consejos. Okay, gracias. Thank you for your question. Any other question? I guess. What do you mean of I guess? Pretty well, I guess. Supongo. Thank you so much. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Bueno, todo bien, pero no soy muy buena jugando, dice Ruth. No more question? Okay, that's great. If you don't have any other question, let's listen again to this conversation and pay attention to the pronunciation, please, especially for the question and the answer in this conversation. And then we're going to choose some volunteer to practice. So let's leave in again, please. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, I need two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Any volunteer? Me, I'm volunteer, teacher. teacher. Okay, so I have Carlos Vladimir and me, and Ana Martinez. Yeah. No. Okay, let's listen, Carlos Vladimir. When you say me, can you please say your name? For example, me, Ana, me, Carmen, me, Maria, please. Okay, but we are going to hear in this moment Carlos Vladimir and Ana Martin. Okay. Ana, you are rude. Carlos, you are Kate. So let's start. Anna, can you please start the conversation? You are, you are in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play some time? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Excellent. Thank you so much, Anna and Carlos Vladimir. Most perfect job. Thank you. That was an excellent participation. Anybody? I need another two volunteers. The last two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Me, teacher. No, volunteer. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Chris, Christina and Osmin. Can you tell me, please? Okay. You're in great shape, Kit. 
Thanks. I guess I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I'll write, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Perfect, y'all. Thank you so much. Excellent pronunciation, guys. That was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's continue with this. I'm a real fit. How often? And I have here some example. How often do you study English? What is a good answer for this question? Short answer. You see this short answer here? This one. How often? How often do you study English? I'm a real fit. Sorry. How often do you study English? I study English every day. Thank you so much. How long do you spend at work? How long do you spend at work? Can you say time, right? Five hours, uh, four hours, eight hours, 10 hours. How long do you spend at work? Um, I spend 10 hours in my work. Thank, thank you so much. Very good answer. How well? How well do you speak English? Not English. very good. Okay. In this case, I don't you... speak English very well. Okay. Thank you. So we say uh, pretty well about average. And what was the last one? Not very well. Not very well. Thank you. Then how good? How good are you at speaking English? I am speaking English okay. Okay, you say okay. Very good. And what was the last one? No so. No so good, right? So those are the answers for this question. Let's go with the next exercise. So let's practice. I have heard the phrases pretty, pretty well, sorry, pretty well. About average, no, very well, pretty good. Okay, not so good. And also I have these phrases every day, twice a week, not very often, 30 minutes a day, about an hour on weekends. So I have the next question for you. How good are you at volleyball? How good are you at volleyball? Then choose one of the answer in the in the chart, in the orange chart. Not so good. That is a good answer. Not so good. Any other answer? How good are you at volleyball, guy? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, pretty good. Let's go with the next question here. How long do you spend online? How long do you spend online using the social media? About an hour on weekend. Okay, about an hour on weekend. Thank you. Any other answer? How long do you spend online? Can you please repeat? 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day. Okay, great. Let's see the next. How often do you play cards? Twice a week. I never play cards. Excellent, excellent answer. I play cards twice a week. I never play cards. Thank you for your answer. How well can you swim? Not very well. Not very well. Very no. good. Well. Very good. Okay, pretty good, thank you. What do you say, pretty well in this question, pretty well. How well can you type? That is the example, right? How well can you type? That is the exercise number four, the one that gives us problems, right? How well can you type? 
Um, pretty well. Pretty well. Great. Like 40 words per minute? 40, 45 what is words teacher? per minute? Type is digital. Oh, it's okay. Then, okay. No question in this part. No question in this exercise. No. No? Okay, then let's see this. Okay, talking about duration. How long do you spend shopping? When you go to the mall, how long do you spend shopping? I spend shopping about maybe two or three hours. Okay, about three hours. About two or three hours. I spend shopping about two or three hours. Thank you for your answer. Any other answer? How long do you spend shopping? I have three hours. Quien da más? Quien da más? Quien se tarda más? Three hours. Looking for shoes, dress, shirt, jacket. I spend shopping two hours. Two hours. Okay, two hours. And tell me that. Uh, I I didn't listen to you, Jamelet. I couldn't listen to you. Sí, pulpe, pulpe, dicho, me dice aquí que la señal está intermitente, pero eh, preguntaba que si shopping solo aplica eh, la compra de zapatos, ropa o se puede en el supermercado también. En el, en el supermercado también, right? Shopping es ir de compras, right? No importa si va a comprar eh, comida, right? O ropa, zapatos, shopping. You can use shopping at the supermarket too. Thank you for your question. How long is this lesson? Who knows the answer? How long is this lesson? One hour. Okay, one hour. Thank you. How long do you spend reading? How long do you spend reading? Nobody? Don't you I like reading? spend reading about an hour. an hour. About an hour. Thank you. About an hour. Thank you for your answer. Then let's see how long do you sleep? How long do you sleep? Six hours, seven hours, eight hours, 12 I hours. Sleep, I sleep eight hours. Thank you, Christina, for your answer. Six hours. Six hours, thank you. Five, four and five hours every day, um, every night. Okay. Four or five hours. Okay, thank you. And how long do you spend at work? Oh, we already discussed this question, right? You say 10 hours, eight hours, five hours at work. Thanks so much. Let's go with the next. So how long is about- hours. 10 hours, really? 12. 12 hours, really? Yes. Every day, teacher. Every day from six to six. Yeah. Only on a Saturday is five hours. Um, okay, and you have uh, a day off on Sunday? Uh, yes, only, only, only Sunday is my oh, Okay, that's great. So how long is about duration? Now talking about performance, then I have how well do you cook? How well do you cook? I cook very well. Great. I guess I cook uh, pretty pretty well. Pretty well, great. 
Any other answer? How well do you cook? What about the boys in the class? How well do you cook? I'm okay. Okay, thank you. Let's see the next one. How good are you at climbing trees? How good are you at climbing trees? I am not so good at climbing trees. Not so trees. good. Okay, not so good. Any other answer? How do you say climbing, teacher, in Spanish, please? Climbing, trepar árboles. How good are you at climbing trees? I cannot. <laughs> okay, say I can. So, not so good. Not so good. Then let's go with the next. How well do you sing? How well do you sing? I am very bad. Okay, then you say, um, I'm not very well. I'm not very, very well. well. Thank you. Any other answer? How well do you sing? I, I sing pretty well, I guess. Okay, thank you, Chrissy. Say, I think, or I guess, I am pretty well. well I don't the, sing. Okay, I don't like to sing, or I don't sing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see the next one. How good do you dance? Let's see and look at this. How good do you dance? I dance very well. Okay, great. Any other answer? I'm bad uh, dance dancing. Okay, you say no so good. No so good. How would you dance? No so good. No very well. Okay. Then how well do you run? How well do you run? ¿Qué tan buenos son corriendo? How well do you run? Pretty well. Pretty well. Nice. In my motorcycle. <laughs> ah, or <okay>. the dogs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, be careful, right? <laughs> motorcycles are a little dangerous. Just be careful when riding your motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Then show me teacher. See. Yeah. Uh I'm having a problem with my internet. Okay, okay, I understand. Eulise is your name. Eulise. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, then we are going to work in a small groups and we are going to practice this, right? And let's see this question. How often do you play soccer? How long do you play soccer? And how well do you play soccer? And um, you can change play soccer for another activity. Right? You are going to ask to your classmates uh, how often, how long, and how well they do an activity. So you can use cook, swing. How often do you swing? How long do you swing? How well do you swing? I have here another example. How often do you ride a bike? How long do you ride a bike? How well do you ride a bike? And how good are you riding a bike? So you are going to ask to your classmates uh, this question. Eh, la actividad la pueden cambiar. ¿no? Puede preguntarle, ¿qué tan bueno eres pintando, por ejemplo? How often do you paint? How long do you paint? How well do you paint? Eh, dibujar también. ¿no? How often do you draw? How long do you draw? How well do you draw? ¿Qué tan bueno eres dibujando? ¿verdad? Entonces pueden cambiar la actividad y van a practicar con sus compañeros en the breakout rooms. ¿De acuerdo? So we are 20. Let's see. Por ahí les va a llegar una invitación, ¿verdad? para que se puedan unir a los pequeños grupos y puedan hacerle esas preguntas a su compañero, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de la actividad? Do you have any question about the activity? Or is it clear? Is it clear? It's clear. It's clear? Okay, excellent. Thank you. Here we go, right?
ya pueden unirse a los pequeños grupos para que puedan practicar. Yamilet, Ingrid, Vanessa, Samuel, Isaac, Enel y Antonio recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos. Uh, okay, Isaac, I understand. Don't worry. Jamilet, do you have a problem? Ingrid, can I help you with something? Right on the chat, if you can speak. Then I will be with you in a minute. I'm going to be in some of your classmates to know how they are working in this activity. Hello, Sandra Noemi. Welcome to the class. Oh. Did you write a, a teacher? Right. A question. Tell me what is your question? Is whatever answer the questions? Um, it or, or, uh, 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 Mm -hmm. This is an example. You can use how often, how long, how well, and the answer that we have been studying in the class. Here are the answers in this. Let me show you where are they. Okay, here we have. So you can use pretty well, about average, not very well, pretty good, okay, not so good, to answer the question. Okay. okay. Okay, let's start with this practice, for example. Uh, Anna, which question do you have for your classmates? Hello, Anna. Hola, hola. ¿Qué preguntas tiene para sus compañeros? How often, how good? Oh, eh. Yo le hice tres preguntas a Carlos Vladimir. Eh, una era, las que usted dio, ¿verdad? Que era, how often eh, do you play soccer? Me contestó él. Ah, y ahí okay. le hice la otra, how long do you play soccer? Igual me la contestó. Y la, otra, la tercera que le aparecía es, how well do you play soccer? Okay. Y, él me hizo dos, y él me hizo dos preguntas a mí también y yo le di la respuesta. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál es Ada? Ada Marilu. Hello, Ada. Good evening. 
Good evening. Estamos, bueno, de último yo pregunté How often do you ride a bike? Nos habíamos quedado ahí y bueno, yo cambié la respuesta en cuando Carlos me preguntó How well do you play soccer? Yo contesté I play soccer regular. No sé si estaría bien. Um, I regularly play soccer. I regularly play soccer. Okay. Okay, excellent. Then now let me ask you some questions. How often do you cook, Ana? How often do you cook? I cook. I cook every day. Excellent. How well do you cook? How well do you cook? Uh, pretty, pretty well. Pretty well, excellent. And then let's see, Ada, how often do you play basketball? I never play bas basketball. Excellent answer, thank you, <coughs> Carlos Vladimir. Uh, yes. How how well uh, do you? How well do you cook? I'm very well. Oh, cook. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, not very well. Okay, then what about basketball? How often do you play basketball? I'm bad. I'm bad for, for, for this sport. Only, only soccer. Oh, yes, soccer. Okay, then you say I never play basketball. Yes, play basketball. Okay, okay, see you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Pueden cambiar la actividad, ¿verdad? How often do you drive? How well do you drive? So change the question and continue practicing. See you in a minute, guys. Okay. Jennifer, Fatima, hello. Hi, I think we finished. Oh, you have already finished. Okay. Then we're going to yeah. stop this activity right now. So thank you. Uh, what were the questions, okay. by the way? ¿Cuáles fueron las preguntas? Um, how, how, how would do you... Do you cook? I ask to, I forget the name of the girl, but she live and she asked Fatima, I don't know, I forget. Mm. Okay. I Jennifer. forgot what, yeah. Okay, I have some question for you. How good are you at cooking? I I guessed uh, I cook uh, pretty good. Excellent answer, thank you. Now let's see how good are you at math. I'm so sorry. You can repeat, please. How good are you at math? Math like uh, class. Math subject. Math. Uh, like a subject? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Yes. And what about you, Fatima? How good are you at math? Hello, Fatima. Okay. See you in a minute, guys. We're going to finish this. 
activity. Hola, alguien está ahí. Hello, Karen Stephanie. Hey, hello, Carlos. Welcome again. Hello, Cristia. Welcome. Jennifer, welcome again to the class. Carlos. Hey, how was your practice? Did you finish? Did everyone practice the sentences? Yes, I understand, teacher. Okay, let's see. Okay, all of your classmates are arriving to the class again. So, Crisia, what about your group? Did you finish practicing the sentences? The question and the answer? Yes, we finished. Okay, Eulice, what about your group? Did you finish? Yes, I finished. Osman, what about your group? Did you finish practicing? Yes, teacher, I finished. Okay, how was your practice? Was it good? Uh, so, so, how was it? Um, different question. Um, for example, uh, do you play soccer? Um, do you long the, the shopping? Okay, excellent. Thank you for your question. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, now don't forget that, right? How often is for frequency? How often do you do an activity? That is for frequency. How long? How long do you do something? That is for time, for duration. Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo hace una actividad? That is how long. Then how well, how well do you do something? Or how good are you at an activity? Son for performance, right? Que también hacen una actividad. And also how, how well can you? How well can you is another option to ask, right? Que tan bueno es una, en una actividad. So don't forget about those questions and short answers. Do you have any question about today's class? No questions? No, okay. teacher. Okay, no, thank you. No, Christian. teacher, I'm okay. Thank you, Carlos. Then don't forget, please, about the platform exercises. Remember that you have to complete the section one and section two during this week, okay? So don't forget about that. Keep in mind that you have to complete those sections, okay? And teacher, don't solo forget. Me Yes. En el último ejercicio que sale después del que usted nos mostró, uh -huh. eh, está como solo un contexto, una página, según estoy revisando, pero ¿cómo podríamos hacer para contestar eso? Ok, let me see. Sí, luego de eso. This one. Oh, health and fitness quiz. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, this is, um, this is just a reading. See the quiz scoring a piece of paper, find out how fit you are. Okay, you have to do it in a, um, in a piece of paper, right? And you can do it as your notebook or in a separate, separate piece of paper, but you have to read. You have to read and choose one of the options. For example, how many meals do you eat each day? So four or five small meals, three meals, one or two meals. Then choose one. You have to choose one and you have to take notes or the points, right? Tiene que ir tomando nota de los puntos, right? Y luego hacer una suma. Y entre más alta le salga el número, así va a ser su resultado. Si usted lleva una vida saludable o no saludable. But it is just okay, a reading. I need to share the picture to group or no? And this picture? Yes. Uh, because uh, I no encuentro la forma en la que se pueda contestar ahí dentro o se puede contestar ahí mismo. No, tiene que ser en una página aparte o en su cuaderno. 
Ok, ¿y eso se manda o solo se queda acá con nosotros? No, solo es para usted. El punto okay. es la lectura. The point in the okay. exercise es la lectura, de read. O sea, ¿eso no, no lleva calificación a plataforma, teacher? No, no, no tiene. O podríamos responder abajo también, ¿verdad? En la discusión. Ah, ok. Y sí, acá abajo en the discussion, acá sí pueden escribir, ¿verdad? But this is optional. It's optional. It's up to you. That is up to you. If you want to practice, of course, you can complete this, right? Eh, añade una publicación y llena ahí los campos y va a aparecer acá su respuesta. If you can do it, great, right, do it. Okay. Teacher. Teacher, pero siempre queda un clic en enviar, ¿verdad? Para que este, se pueda reflejar de que sí leímos este párrafo. Tomorrow we are going to discuss this, right? Mañana vamos a discutir esta lectura, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Good night. 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 Good night.